In this video, we are going to make some very cheap, affordable, but healthy enough succotash. And succotash, as you may or may not know, is generally the kind of meals the first Americans would have eaten. Now, obviously, there were many different tribes and, you know, nations of many different ones that made up the body of first Americans. So, some would actually not, you know, be much of a plant eaters and uh, some would only eat plant eaters to the point where some other nations, first American nations, would call them tree eaters and such. Anyway, I'm going on for a tangent. What we need is a kern, uh, corn or maize is the proper name. Um, beans, beets, and uh, pumpkin. Now this could be squash. Squash and pumpkin are interchangeable. They are not that different from each other. The reason I'm using canned ones is because, um, you know, where I live, I don't really have much choice uh, besides a um, uh, plastic bagged vegetables or canned vegetables. So I would take, you know, having a micro, what do you call it? Uh, let me just uh, stop at this so I can do this. A little bit pieces of, uh, you know, metals that goes on the can over microplastics because microplastics is uh, something that we as, um, you know, human beings don't quite know yet. We don't know what it's going to do to us. Isn't that scary? But we just consume them anyways. So, you know, this is not healthiest, but it's the better of the two, in my opinion. Anyways, so we do green beans. It could be any beans. Beans and peas are exchangeable, just like pumpkins and squash um, entire can of pumpkin is going to be actually a little too much so yeah, let's prop this again so I can show you guys what I do just do one cup this thing is a cup. This one scoop is a cup, basically. Okay. And as all who has ever worked in a kitchen would tell you to clean up yourself after yourself immediately. Because if you don't, somebody else who's using the kitchen May have to clean up to you. Anyway, I'm going off on tangent again. So, that's all you need. You need um, you need beet, you need corn, and you need uh, the corn squash, which I replace with pumpkin. And uh, most people, or some, um, may already know that as the three sisters group squash bean and maize in which these 
three different plants cover the uh, nutrient deficiency of another, right? So if you eat beans, uh, squash, and maize, preferably the wild ones, if you can afford them, it would cover like most of what you need. I think you'd be lacking vitamin D. Um, and there's a ways to get around that. Uh, you could use mushrooms to cover vitamin B, vitamin D. Uh, if a, if you're um, <clears throat> what to call it a vegetarian. But typically, most um, most meat would have vitamin D. What I like to do here is put a little vegetable oil. This is not necessary. It's just for taste. Little bit of salt and little bit of pepper for taste again. It's not really a succotash, but it's something I'd add. And uh, you might have noticed I also use um, a little bit of pepper, uh, a um, chili in here, because um, the three sisters actually extends to what's called the seven warriors and that's how some native americans would have covered for those lack of um, uh, nutrients anyways sokotes is basically those three big sisters um maize bean and squash and then you can add anything else to your liking. I've seen a lot of people go for like meat, um, pork, obviously, if you have them. Not something Native Americans usually would have eaten. They probably likely to have added the uh, fish. But yeah, um, very simple. Nutritious enough, I can't, you know, emphasize that enough. It's not the healthiest, but it's cheap, it's readily available, and it's very easy to do. Just throw them all together and put them in a pot. And the whole meal costs you less than five bucks, really. Um, Usually I can get them around three to four dollars if I catch the uh, can. That's why I, you know, go for the cans. Cause um, look, it's like six nine dollars, six nine cents. It's... There's a saying goes um, that um, with the pandemic, there definitely has been a supply shortage, but that supply shortage has been dealt with and we're still paying two to three times what it used to be let's say four or five years ago right and um, these grocery companies Kroger Walmart Target they're having record high profits so you know you put two and two together the inflation we have in the grocery market, it's not really a, whatchamacallit, it's not really an inflation, is it? So what I like to do here, anyways, when you're going off on tangent again, I'm sorry, that's what I do. It's what, you know, guy with in front of a camera does. I like to put the squash on top in this case pumpkin because uh, they usually often come in a puree and um, putting these on the bottom makes uh, the you know things stick on the bottom and then you just uh, Leave it on pot 
you can do it on the low heat it's fine it's going to be fine and um, sometimes I like to put a little crack open and it should be good in about 20 to 30 minutes all right it's difficult to eat cheap nowadays the point I was making was you still can if you're diligent enough you know that's what life is about you know being tenacious makes you survive better hope you have a good year everybody thanks for watching my video